Hey there everybody, I'm the Lonely Hunter and after playing a couple of hours of the beta, after having unlocked some weapons, I decided to make a compilation of some good situations, some good streaks and some fails with the sniper rifles and uh, I would like to talk about, you know, about your favorite gun guys. What is your favorite gun so far if you have played the beta? What is your favorite nationality, your favorite faction, your favorite piece of equipment, your favorite kill streak, and so on and so forth. Basically I want you guys to tell me what you like and what you dislike about the game so far because you know the beta gave us a taste of the game because this is not kinda like the other betas that have been out it is really close to the full release of the game and uh, you can consider it like a demo because not many things will change after the release of the game well of course some bugs some glitches will be addressed and of course there will be support from the guys from DICE after the release of the game but still there will not be too much of major changes to the game so I hope you enjoy the clips I hope you enjoy the little streaks that I'm going through and I created this compilation just because these guns are my favorite so far these guns are my favorite that I have unlocked and I have to say that I love the OG I love all that submachine guns I love the sniper rifle which is not that easy to use I have to say it takes some skill to use and it doesn't let you rush a lot doesn't let you run around a lot and uh, this is good I mean if you have to play as a sniper you have to play as a sniper I mean you don't have to be rushing you don't have to be attacking because a sniper is meant to be stationary and that is why basically you have the bipod because you have to be stationary in order for you to be more accurate and this game just manages to master the way the playstyles feel and the way you can manipulate your soldier to adapt to its playstyle because when you have a submachine gun yeah you got a rush because when you are in kinda long range to medium range then your submachine gun is pretty much useless towards the other guns that this game has because there are quite a few really powerful assault rifles out there that can wipe you out really easily and uh, there are many nationalities that use these iterations of the guns, use these different guns that this game offers and uh, you will have to find your own nationality, your own faction in order for you to build the perfect soldier, in order for you to build your perfect class. So there are classes that let you use some equipment that uh, is not accessible by others and there are classes that let you use some more tactical kill streaks and others have more offensive kill streaks. You know, there are kill streaks that can wreak havoc from the air. There are kill streaks that can be deployed on the ground in the form of a gun, in the form of a grenade lance in the form of an explosive so there are many things to use in this game and you can use them in the way you want to use them so if you manipulate them good then you will succeed in what you're doing and your team will win eventually and you will have a great time with your buddies also another thing is cooperation well while you are in this game you have to cooperate with your buddies you have to just develop this team spirit and you just have to work together to make things right just because if you don't work together then you will get punished for that and by that I mean when you're getting sad and when you are low on health then it, it gets displayed on the top right corner of your screen and uh, your buddy can see that and he can come back and revive you if he doesn't come back and revive you well he can be an asshole and let you die for him to get the red silhouette and kill your killer but for you it is really necessary to keep restoring your health to keep replenishing your ammo so that you get so that you can get back in the fight so that you can keep shooting keep fighting and keep killing so by you staying alive and by your friends staying alive the two forces combine you staying alive as a team you can succeed in becoming the vip team and this is what warfighter does best it takes the game to a whole new level by giving you the opportunity to work with one close friend and just beat your own team and the enemy team at the same time while you compete with the enemy team for the objective you compete with all the other squads for being the vip and the vip is the really big award that you are going to go for because the vip award just shows that you are the best that you did the best job during the match and this is basically what will reward you most it will show the others who is the boss and you will have to see 
that um, this game implements this game element really great and you will really have fun with your friend trying to master this, trying to go for the objective and basically the communication with your friend is really crucial with that moment so if you are planning to go on with a friend in Medal of Honor then bring a headset with you because you will need it while you are spawning close to your body then you are spawning close to your enemies then you are spawning close to the objective and this is really crucial so that you are always at the right place in the right time so this is what you have to go for Another thing is that when you die and your friend is in danger, when you die and your friend is taking damage and there are people threatening him, then you cannot spawn next to him because you will eventually die and uh, the other guy will get an easy two piece just because you respawned the wrong time at the wrong place. But you can see when your friend is in danger and you can alert him while you are communicating with him because let's say that your friend does not see the enemy that is shooting at him. Let's say that your friend has some time to evade the bullets and you are here to alert him. So this is a bit of info, these are some streaks. I hope you like this video. I wanna know guys, what is your favorite gun, what is your favorite faction and generally what, th what are the things you like so far from the beta. I want your impressions on it. I am out guys, peace.